All right, wish me luck, YouTubers. This program features a solo kayaking trip on the southern shore of Nova Scotia. Do not attempt this yourself. Uh, we're headed off to Devil's Island today, so uh, should be a good trip. Uh, for anyone who thinks this doesn't, uh, doesn't cost anything, it's free. It's, it's definitely not. Uh, well, something like this uh, takes a, a little bit of money and uh, 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 gas prices here. So this is what I, uh, what I just pumped and uh, I, was, uh, I was just below half. So uh, not uh, not exactly cheap. So anyway, let's we'll see you on the road. So you can get a good idea of what I'm taking with me to Devil's Island. Um, trying to keep it as minimal as possible. Um, even that is, is probably going to end up being a little bit too much. So I do have a few things that I could uh, that I can get rid of. Give you an idea of what we got here. We got quite a bit of storage space. I would say it's less than my uh, my venture kayak. Um, I think my venture kayak has uh, one more uh, one more compartment, um, but I do believe it's a much nicer seat, and I know the pedals inside uh, work a lot better. So, um, so yeah, and it's a it's a little bit different as a rounder bottom. Um, so we're gonna see what that's like. By law, you have to have uh, this uh, um, this thing right here. It's used for if you tip the kayak. Uh, it's actually like a knee board to actually be able to get back in the kayak. Um, it's really, really important to have um, because it's almost impossible to get in uh, the kayak without it, uh, especially if things are rough enough that you tip the kayak or conditions are bad enough, whatnot. So we got that. Uh, we got some a bag full of rope. Uh, we got my uh, uh, my water. <laughs> I call them my water boots and uh, and gloves. Uh, I brought a pair of uh, shoes uh, for hiking. Uh, it's like I said, it's pretty barren on the island we got here. So we've got our water uh, and a separate water bottle. Bringing a grill, okay, uh, an axe. Um, this is my bag of electronics and uh, and like most important things. Um, so that bag will go in one of these uh, wet bags um, as well. Uh, these are the four wet bags, or sorry, these are, they'll go in one of these four dry bags, not wet bags, um, as I spoke about before. Um, and uh, then we have uh, our, uh, our always needed uh, French press uh, coffee. Um, and so I basically kind of just got all my coffee stuff in there, as you can see, and uh, some lanterns, flashlights. Uh, this is the cooler. Um, this was always the, uh, the tough one because um, it takes up, it's heavy and it takes up room. And uh, we got some tripods here. We got the tent and uh, just a, a bag of uh, some extra clothes and some warm clothes. Uh, here's my uh, bag for uh, the, the drone and uh, the uh, poles, which yes, I know they're supposed to be inside there, but uh, they're not, and uh, that's just how I am. <laughs> sleeping bag and which is right on the way and that works out and I got my coffee we're all loaded up well sleeping bag anyway Let's see if we can get this in there I don't want to use a dry bag or I don't want to use a dry bag I don't have to see if we can stuff it one of these patches here we got one dry bag in there I think I can I know I can get the sleeping bag in there it's a lunch kit I might uh, put it on top actually if I put the sleeping bag, I'd like to put it in a uh, in a dry bag. Let me see if I can get the lunch kit in here. And ready to launch. Let's go. All right. So we're leaving Wolfville. 
Continue on Nova Scotia Clock 1 East for 4 kilometers. There's my, uh, <laughs> there's my guide. We're leaving Wolfville and uh, headed to Devil's Island. We are in Dartmouth, uh, just sitting at the uh, traffic lights. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon, uh, 20, uh, 23. Um, the nice thing is uh, we're right on time for everything. I'm anxious to uh, get uh, get out there to see uh, how high the sea is, uh, to see if I can see the island, uh, or at least get the GoPro out far enough to see it. Uh, assess the situation. It certainly, uh, you know, it'll make things uh, easier on me. In 600 meters, use the right lane to take the Nova Scotia 111 East Square, Eastern Shore, Nova Scotia 118. All right, I'm. Uh, I'm getting excited now. Uh, the uh, I can see the island. I can see that. So it's actually not even as far as I as I had thought. Uh, the ocean's a little bit rough. So uh, you know we're just going to take our time and uh, do things right. I don't think uh, the surf is overly high that it'll you know that it's uh, danger or, or anything like that. Um, and we're going to go out there and. Uh, you know, uh, take it easy and see how it goes and stay close to shore for the first bit. Um, make sure that uh, the kayak maneuvers well uh, and uh, get a good feel for it. And uh, as soon as I'm comfortable with that, um, or if I do get to the point where I'm comfortable with that, um, we'll head out to uh, Devil's Island. But uh, it uh, it's, should be a short paddle. Um, but uh, it might be a little bit rough. Uh, we have arrived. Uh, park just back there. Hopefully uh, they don't tow my truck. <laughs> it should be all right though. It's off the road. Um, and see the trail ahead of me. Um, so it's going to be quite a effort to pull that by myself. But uh, I think I can manage. And you can see over there is uh, our destination. Now it is a little bit rough. It looks in some spots, but. I don't think it's choppy enough to uh, to give uh, too many worries. Taking off from here, and uh, the waves are a little bit rough. So one of the nice things is, I guess, in a way, is uh, when I uh, when I go in, when I put it in, um, I'll know when the in, in the first little bit whether uh, it's a good idea or not. But uh, it's no rough road. In fact, I think you know, the middle gets a little better. But uh, that's Jordan's Island, so uh, let's, uh, let's just get the kayak down here. As you can tell, me and tripods don't get along very well. I think I'd learn. Just gotta... in the way I'd like to get it. Oh, okay. So, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, set you up right in this spot. All right, we got the uh, kayak down there. It actually went down uh, a lot easier than I expected it would. 
So anyway, I'm just kind of going to avoid that, uh, that white cat patch there and then head uh, straight and land on this uh, on the northern shore here. I think I can. Really beautiful day. It's a little bit windy, but uh, I think we're going to do okay. So uh, we're going to get all hooked up here and, uh, and head out. It's about five minutes away from leaving and uh, I'm a little bit anxious. Uh, wind's headed towards me, but uh, the ocean doesn't look too bad, and we don't have too far to go, so uh, five minutes, uh, we're off. Okay. See on the water. Catch it on the waves here. Here comes the big one. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, I'm on it quite far enough. <laughs> Oh, that's heavy. All right. I didn't check the pedals uh, where they were set. I just assumed he was an average height guy and uh, that wasn't the case because I couldn't even reach the pedals. Um, so that's definitely no good. And it was definitely a little bit under rough going in. So we're gonna, we're gonna adjust the pedals. That's gotta be done. And um, Dry bag, but we don't want anything to get into it. So I got to come up a little bit more out of this water, and I do see my paddle there. Now, fortunately, I've already taken on a good amount of water. means I'm doing what I'm doing. Shit. 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 I don't know. Going out. Sir. There's some waves, I'll tell you. It takes forever to empty this regatta. Because there's just too much water. And uh, it's not like it's leaking, but in the way I was hitting the surf. Come on, give me a few more minutes. Let's not any further. Oh, this is a little frustrating. The water burnt. Uh, hey. You gotta do the right thing and. Uh, you know, I, I want to hit those paddles. And, uh, that means I can't steer effectively. I mean, I can steer the paddle, but in the ocean, it's really difficult. Especially it's a big kayak. You, you really need that rudder um, to get, uh, you know, if you're going to be out in the ocean. And it was crystal calm. That's fine, but it's it's far from calm. The boat, actually, when I was out there, um, besides a couple of minutes, was prepared for it. You know, it uh, stuck on some water there. Um, it felt quite stable. I almost got all the water in there. So we're gonna have to just go with the, my GoPro on the way out on my head. I put a brand new battery in just to 
before I tried to leave there the first time, it's almost all leave up. All right. That's, I'll tell you, these things, oh, don't ever leave home with them. Um, so I guess it's, uh, it must be this. That I need to, Tighten up. You see the brakes in the wind where it's not quite as bad. My friend, I really like to be right about there, right? Oh, I really hope that didn't just break. It broke it. That's what I gotta go. Is this? It's too close. Drop my uh, sleeping pad. So wrapped up and excited about getting that sleeping bag in, no problem. But. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, if it happens, so. Let's, uh, his gloves are all wet. Awesome, get on. So there's, like, that way is uh, Cow Bay. You see off in the distance, there's some sort of construction going on, cranes. You can see off way in the distance, the, the harbor garment of Halifax. Okay, so it it looks okay. We're gonna try again. If uh, things don't go right, we're uh, well. I'll call it as much as I don't want to. I put so much effort into this, but it's not worth my life. Here's a big one. Okay. Seems to be responding. Yep, the rudder's working great. Um, so far, so good. I mean, I'm just kind of left shore, but it's uh, it's not too bad out here. I know a really experienced kayaker would wouldn't think much of this probably. Um, I try to stay perpendicular to the waves, kind of. <laughs> um, I don't definitely don't want to be parallel to them because there are uh, every few waves there's a really big one, and if you're parallel, that's enough to that's enough to tip you over if it's big enough. Um, and hitting them straight on really sucks because it gets wet. So I try to get it on an angle and uh, I always err on the side of caution. It's not worth it. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable and uh, pretty good. Whew, really wish I had a fresh water. <laughs> I forget how thirsty you get out here. In the ocean. Here's some big waves coming right there. The trick is to keep your head on and uh, your wits about you. And don't panic no matter what. And uh, that's the best, you know, that's the best you can do to stay safe. And it's really, really rough. And I'm getting closer. But holy crap over here. Yeah, that was a big one. Hopefully the GoPro is capturing uh, some of this footage. You can actually be paddling as hard as you can and depending on the current, the tides, the wind, and a few other factors. 
you can end up realizing that you're making no way whatsoever and you're in fact going backwards with all that effort. Now, obviously I know, or I knew I was moving forward. See myself inching towards it even without looking behind me. Now the weights seem okay right now. I think we're past the other side of the island, so we're kind of a little bit in the clear as far as the wind got. <laughs> Big waves. I mean, still gotta be careful. So I am so excited to be uh, almost docking up here on uh, Devil's Island. And uh, boy, this island actually has a lot of history. Uh, there, actually, if you can see to my right, there's uh, the uh, Halifax Harbor, 30s Wharf buildings, uh, the McKay and the McDonald Bridge. I don't know how well they show up in the uh, on the GoPro. There goes a bunch of I don't know what kind of versions. Don't even try it. Be safe to get out. Whoa, here comes the big one. Ah. Ah. Whoa. Well. We made it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that last one. I hope I got that on video. That was good. Seagulls, of course. What else? Seagulls. All right. I got to catch my breath. And uh, I got to pull my kayak in a little bit. And uh, there's a shitty thing is, I don't know how high the tide's going to go. So I got to make sure, I mean, because it can go right up to the grass there. Um, in a uh, in a lunar tide, which is uh, the last thing I want. But for now, I want to get the kayak pulled up way, way up there for far enough that I don't have to worry for a few hours. And uh, then uh, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to take a quick break. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll start, uh, um, I'm going to take a walk and scout the island a little bit real quick. Um, I'll take you guys along with me. We've landed, like I said, and uh, tide is uh, on its way out. By the appearance of the wet lock, uh, you can see I started uh, just unpacking some things here and there. I never remember where I put stuff, so I just had to go through it a few times. But anyway, uh, our kayak is uh, very safe where it is for now, um, and uh, we're going to take a walk around uh, the island. And uh, we're going to uh, see what's going on here. Tons of stuff to burn out here uh, for the fire uh, later on. Um, assuming I can find a good sheltered uh, place. It's uh, pretty windy out in the open. Um, so I do apologize about the wind noise. There's really not much I can do uh, with what I have. Unfortunately, there's always junk everywhere you go, but uh, I'm just curious. So it's like an old winch. Wow. I wonder what the date would be on that. I wonder what it's be pulling something in, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of big old beams. Uh, I do believe there used to be houses. In fact, I know there used to be houses on this island. Um, way back. I don't know the exact history. I think I just got dive bombed by it. Here you go. Um, I'll make your recording. Yeah, as you can see, there's the foundation there. Ah! Holy Jesus! No, I did get dive bombed. You... The hell? <laughs> I've never been attacked by a seagull before. Holy shit! What the fuck? Fuck you guys, man. What the hell?
That's the. Ah! <laughs> ah! Jesus. What? Man, like this is not cool. This is not cool at all. I don't even have a hat on. I don't think so. I don't think I'm here at nesting time or anything like that. I'm like. Maybe I am. I don't know. I guess I maybe should have checked that out before. Uh, stay out here a little bit. I've never had that happen before in my life. <laughs> I've had, uh, I've had an eagle go after my drone before. But I'm surprised if you can hear me over the, uh, over the seagulls. Now I'm thinking, And if so, I mean, if I'm walking to a, a nesting area, that's not what I want to do. That's a marsh that way. So what I want to do is uh, stake kind of close, I think, to the edge. Oh, there's a, yeah, I can tell there's, there's babies. So I think, uh, I think they're a little bit upset with me. They're just doing what they're supposed to do. They're protecting their young, and uh, only probably don't see too many uh, people out on this island because um, there's supposedly not a lot out here except for that lighthouse. Um, kind of sucks. It's harder walking on the rock. But we want to keep uh, we want to keep these guys happy, and I want to be responsible and do the right thing. Um, so you can see, uh, see if we can just get over here. See another old foundation. So there's there's more than one. All right, they're not. Like... I will. Uh, I'm gonna have to Google it later. Uh, but I do believe there was up to 2,000 residents, uh, up to 2,000 uh, residents on the island at one point uh, years ago. But don't quote me on that because I don't know that that's true. I'm just going to, I'm going to scout out a little bit more and, um, you know, uh, I, I really don't want to, quite honestly, if I could put the tent right there, I can't, but if I could, I would. Um, it's going to be extra shitty with, uh, with that sleep pad, uh, even if I find a, a softer spot, but, uh, them's the brakes. So I'm not paddling back, uh, just for that. And that's the first, so, all right. I'll see you guys at the lighthouse. Once we get our, uh, our camp set up, uh, I wish we could have, you know, been on this side, but obviously waves like that, rocks like that, are not really possible. Jeez, I hope it's not like this long. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. There's a story about this lighthouse, and it doesn't, uh, it relates to its name. It's not how it got its name, but uh, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> it's uh, not how it got its name. Um, it's really windy, so you probably can't hear me. But how uh, this island actually got its name was uh, just the one of the first families that uh, were living here. Their last name was Deville, um, and basically, I, I think it just. Over the years, uh, got changed to Devil's Island. So, this is the only besides the uh, besides that uh, one over there, uh, lighthouse, I guess. Um, you can see two structures over there. Um, we're gonna walk over and see if we can get a good look. The door is open. There's a ladder here, I guess. Very good. Going in the lighthouse. Now, there's nobody else in. Oh, man. Okay, so let's just leave that open. Bird. 
birds in here. Throwing crap all over. Completely overwood there. Man, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this in the day because I wouldn't be doing this at night. Um, I'm, yeah, this place is, this place is really freaky, man. Like, I, I don't know when the last time somebody even would have been here. Go to the third level. Oh, wow, it was like bird. Crap has been here. And I know I'm kind of taking my chances at this point. Oh wow, all gross. You can see how the, the birds have pretty much finished it off. Oh man, it's like tilted here a little bit. That's the chute that goes right down. That's weird. Imagine being the lighthouse keeper and having to take care of this place. Years and years ago out here. Oh wow. I get it. Wow. Here I am standing on top of the last remaining structure, the lighthouse on Devil's Island. And uh, what an amazing view. Absolutely stunning. Really windy up here. Really see, <laughs> see the swells in the ocean, and man, that's a long ways down. Quick walk around here. See that open window there. That's pretty cool, though. I'm gonna have to look up uh, what year the uh, this lighthouse was built. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm trying to look for many facts. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think this is what the second lighthouse. You know, the weird thing is, I just noticed uh, about the lighthouse, 
Uh, you might not be able to see it in here, but uh, up on the top railing, there's a uh, rope tied to that. And you can see that kind of goes all the way down uh, to the bottom. Uh, almost like somebody was stealing it. Maybe it was a rescue. It's maybe I could see it being a rescue rope maybe years and years ago, but uh, oh, that still be there. And, uh, I, I think it was a rescue rope. Maybe. Thicker. Certainly don't want to have to try it, that's for sure. Because it doesn't look like it'd hold a it. it's probably rock now. So here's an old structure. I mean you can tell by looking at that. And uh, sort of beard shaped. It's probably a probably a cooling house or a freezer type house uh, that they would have built back in the day. Uh, Looks like somebody's been there. Uh, so oh, that's an old, it's like an old barn or an old house. You can barely see the peak of it left there. There's not much left on this island. Um, okay, like, too close. And a very small shelf there. And then there's the only structure that's even recognizable, really, can still set of stairs there. Uh, there's a basement of a foundation that I'm not going to go in because it's a uh, view. It almost looks like somebody was staying here at one point, I guess, with the, with the tarp, maybe they needed shelter. But if you all caved in, see us right there, if you didn't have shelter, we'd be a place I'd put a tarp to. But uh, I always reflected the chimney. One of the stairs to go down the stairs, there's no way I'm glad. Nah, there's nothing down there anyway. Let's see? Stairs to the front door. <laughs> part of the roof. And there's the other part of the roof. Oh, that's not the roof. That's uh, well, almost looks like a wall. That's the roof. And then another piece over there is actually quite a large structure, I would say. You know, this tiny island uh, at one point uh, housed a uh, family quite easily. Uh, I'm guessing it's, uh, I don't know, actually, it's structural. I was going to say maybe like this time, but this wasn't your typical strand, or, or this wasn't your typical way off island with you know, only one lighthouse speaker, uh, you know, back in the day. Uh, there's a, an actual population here. Uh, there would have been a lighthouse keeper, uh, but there was also uh, other things as well. So, uh, this spot, we're going to go back around uh, by the store here. I got to go, I got to see if I can get through there for those other birds that are with those I got this entire island to myself. Nobody else. Just me, seagulls. Lighthouse, fresh air, I love it. Oh, and by the way, this is the uh, southern shore um, that uh, when I read up on it, it said it's uh, easiest to get uh, the land uh, beach on the southern side of the island. Uh, let me tell you, that does not look like sand to me. <laughs> It looks like pretty much where we landed was one of the very few. I could have landed a little bit further down, like I said, but that, that was it. You can't land in something like that, right? Uh, definitely move feet. So, you know, it, uh, it worked out. I had a plan. I could see uh, where I wanted to be. I wanted to show you there. I think you can see it on the map. Uh, there's the, uh, the main. I think there's two swamps. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I think that's the main one right there. Um, 
we can come over and check that out later. No, but every island that I plan on going to um, has something unique about it. And uh, that's only the, the stuff I learn in advance. Um, once I get there, every island is different and, and very unique. Uh, and you run into towns that you didn't expect, um, or uh, you know, um, or even good things you didn't expect. So, you know, uh, so, you know the pool is always to see the uh, those those babies. Uh, I don't want to cause uh, any disruptions. So, uh, like I said, we're gonna uh, keep on going. Okay, so whew, here's our setup inside, as you can tell. <laughs> the tent's holding out, but it's uh, <laughs> very low. But uh, I'm confident that it's gonna last the night anyway. I have the uh, cover on a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I got. Uh, I brought some Mr. Noodles and stuff too to cook, but uh, I need water. Um, never go anywhere without water. I don't know what I was thinking. It, it was actually a mistake because I had a, a big four liter. Um, but then I realized I, it, the only place it would fit is on top and I, I just felt it'd be too top heavy. I meant to stop and pick up two uh, small one liters, which would have been sufficient for, uh, you know, um, for a night, for a day. Um, however, um, I forgot, and, uh, luckily I have, uh, some soda, uh, which is better than nothing, uh, 7-Up, and, uh, I'm, uh, just, uh, I've got my battery pack here to charge, uh, up, um, charging up my phone right now, uh, I was charging up some, uh, GoPro batteries, and, um, I'm going to, uh, charge up my uh, um, my bigger uh, camera there so it's ready for the morning um, because we're uh, we're gonna do probably one more walk around the island maybe uh, as long as the weather's nice and everything's decent um, <clears throat> I'm not in a rush to get home um, the only thing I want to keep a good eye on is uh, is what uh, what the ocean looks like between here and uh, landing and um, I want to make sure that uh, you know, I'm ready to take, uh, I'm ready to take advantage of that opportunity, um, because it can change really quick, and, uh, I could end up here another day, and, um, uh, it, it's a little damp, and, uh, like I said, uh, it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a chilly night, uh, I wish I had at least one more blanket, uh, but I got a sweatshirt on, pose experience, Well, actually, it's not quite black out. I thought it was a little bit darker. Dark enough, though. Ouch. Uh, it's hard on the bare feet. And not to mention, it's impossible to miss any bird shit or bird poop. All right. There's a... Uh, Here's our home for the night. You can see in the distance the lighthouse. Uh, looks absolutely dark to me. Um, maybe if I'm up later in the night, I'll uh, we'll take another look. But I don't think much is going to be happening there.
sunset with the lights of Halifax. All right. I am uh, I'm off to uh, to the tent. Really weird because I can hear the seagulls walking around. It's in. But they have been squawking all night long. get out of here before and it's a nice smooth um back across right now so that's uh trick is to get packed up uh, fast enough and uh and efficiently enough boy it's cold this morning i won't lie <sighs> All right, we're gonna get this thing loaded hopefully in the next 20 minutes and uh, head out. It's getting a little bit rougher, but still nothing too bad. Uh, I just wanna get on the road, so. Keep it turned on while I can, but uh, I gotta steer. As I was launching, I uh, I tipped and I uh, went in about two or three feet of water. I was right there on shore, but uh, I'm soaking wet and uh, that really sucks. Oh. Well, we made it. We're soaking wet. There's a dicey paddle on the way in. The waves are coming from behind. So you can't see the swell coming up on you. And the boat just goes like that. Um, Fortunately, it is low tide, and I'm gonna have to drag this even further. But we're on back on uh, mainland, and uh, there's one more look at uh, Devil's Island. We had a great time there. Uh, I'll probably go again uh, sometime. Uh, maybe not to camp, but uh, just to uh, check out that lighthouse again. Supposedly haunted uh, lighthouse which uh, this isn't haunted folks uh, or if it is they weren't haunting me uh, the only thing haunting me over there were the uh, the, uh, the seagulls the relentless flocking uh, I, I thought it would calm down at night but nope they went all night so anyway we're gonna drag this up I'm dreading it a little bit of a maybe a little bit of a job you can never be too careful, that's all I can say. So, uh, I'm out of here, I'm Poe, this is Poe's 
tiny island experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and uh, hit the uh, notification bell wherever they put them there. That way you won't miss my next tiny island experience with Poe. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.